Today, at Mimi's Sketchbook, we're going to paint some decorative banners. So get out your pencils, your good paper, your paints, and let's draw. Today, we are going to paint these pretty decorated banners. Now, in a previous lesson, we drew, learned how to draw all of these different banners over here. So if you missed it, go look for Mimi Sketchbook banners and see just how to make those. But today we're going to dress the banners up with some flowers and color. Okay, so I'm going to start with my banner. I'm going to make a nice curve here and try and get it centered and make a parallel line underneath. Put a little soft curve on the end. And now I'm going to go from underneath, make my S curve, and come out, put the back edge on, make a parallel line, and a pretty finish to my ribbon. Come in here, make my S curve, Go like that. So there's my banner done. I'm going to start to place my flowers here into the picture. So I'm going to start with the big roses. Just a suggestion of a flower because this is a tiny little drawing. I'm not going to try and get too detailed. Let's put another one here. And they're kind of coming down, sitting just on the edge of the banner. Let's put maybe one over here. And then let's put in a small rose here. I'm going to go oblong. And there's the rose. I'm going to bring a branch down the stem. Okay, and let's put small rows here, small rows here, and a couple of branches. Let's fit one in here. And get some stems coming down. And leaves in while we have some space here. Maybe put one down. You don't want too much down here on the face of the um, banner because we want to keep that space free for our lettering and our message that we want to put on here. Okay, these are a few of the stems that are coming down, just very um, casual, just something to tie this in. And let's put in here just a couple of our branches. Some higher, some lower. Just this is just a little informal greeting. So we want it to keep stay fresh and not too planned. So now if I look at this, I could say, well, maybe we need one more rose here. Put a little other little tea rose and maybe put a little make it a little bigger. So it fills the spot, maybe one more here. That's a good spot for a branch. And let's see, let's just make this little rose bigger. 
Okay, so that looks balanced. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. I just want it balanced, a balanced design, but not a perfect design. All right, so now I am going to use a Sharpie Extra Ultra Fine Point Pen, and I'm going to go over my design with a very light hand. And then just going to put in some of my branches. I'm sorry, stems. I keep saying branches. Just a few to kind of give it a little whimsy. And let's add a few leaves down here. Just tiny leaves. We don't want to, don't, we just want to give it a little mass down here, a little interest. And I think that's about it. So let's fire up my kneaded eraser. Clean this up. Get rid of all my little sketch marks. And I can see if this is needs anything else. <laughs> And I think that's pretty fine. It has just a nice balance. Not too much, not too little. And so now, I'm going to come and do my banner first. And I'm going to do this very lightly. And I'm going to do these all in pinks. And so it has a color theme. Sometimes it's easier to start with a simple color theme and the more you do it the more colors you can add to your projects but my suggestion would be start simple and then you can get a little add a little bit more as you go along get more confident what colors go together okay and now I'm going to just take a little um, deeper color and just come in here and make a little shadow because it's fun to do. And while I'm at it, I'm going to do it over here. I've got this color. And you work pretty fast with watercolors. I'm going to wash that off. And now I'm going to pull that color over here. So there's a little bit of shadow there. Put a little color there. Now you can see this color touched here and there's a little runnage, a little bleeding going on. So I'm just going to clean that up because I really want a contrast between here and here, here and here. That makes it pop. Okay, so let's go and get some more of my color. And remember I'm going to use a just a medium amount of color, medium tone. So let me see here if it's a good tone. Uh, it looks okay. I'm going to be careful to try and not touch my banner right now because my banner is wet and it will bleed into it. So I'm just going to do this. This is all I need to do is make a quick addition to the color. Now I'm going to get a little stronger color and touch the center of my flowers where there's shadow. Just a touch. You see how that gives them some pretty dimension and life? All right, now I think I'll go to my green. I don't want too bright a green. So let's test it out here. Well, it could be a little softer. A little more water. Let me test it again. 
Okay, that's better. Better to test ahead of time than afterwards. So I'm just going to touch the green in there. That's all there is to that. That was quick, wasn't it? Oops, I forgot my flowers underneath. Or my petal. My leaves on the stems. And I don't think I'm even going to. I could put a tiny little bit of color on the stems. But just kind of at the top. And let them get kind of fade off as they get to the bottom. Okay. And now I'm going to take that, that soft, or that muted blue. I want to remember to make it a little lighter. There it is. And let's just use the very tip of my brush to put that in. Now, when I do that, if I want to make a very fine point, I am going to need to use the tip of my brush, and so I'm holding it upright. And you know what? I see that I missed one of my roses, so I'm going to just put you in there. There. Wash my brush out, and I see I did touch my banner. I could let it go, but I'm just going to show you I can clean this up. I'm going to just wet it a little bit, and then if I do that, I have to just take that water and just go all over, back over the banner. It doesn't take but a second like that, so that there is not a um, watermark. It'll leave a, a watermark on there. So let's do another one. This time we're going to start in yellow and I am going to make a little different banner. This is kind of an S-shaped banner. I think this time I'm going to start down a little farther on my piece of paper. Now I am using a heavy duty, it's a 140 pound watercolor paper and this is nice to work on. So I'm going to start with a, this shape here and make a pretty S curve and stop like that. I'm going to bring a line down here and continue the front of this and I'm going to make a parallel line that mimics the top like this. Okay, now I'm going to make the back part. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow this line, make an S curve, and come out over here. Come up here with a same height as this and make a pretty end. And then I'm going to come over here, make an S curve, make a parallel one the same height, and make a pretty end. I think I'm going to, let's see, i got to have my ends the same. So let's go like that. I need to put in the back of the curve and I don't stop to erase my mistakes. I make too many mistakes to stop all the time. I just, because I'm drawing lightly, I just leave them right in place and when I am done with my sketching then I can go in and erase everything at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do. So this looks fine. Start with my bigger flowers. And I think I'll start here. Have them overlap a little bit. Spread them out. Maybe put two right next to each other and leave a space. And then another one. And then let's put a small one. Smaller, smaller, 
and let's put in a couple of leaves. Just like that, not too much. We don't want a lot in here. There. And let's put in some of our berries. Let's see, just start here. There's a stem. And let's put a stem here. And a little stem here. And remember, this is just casual. We're not trying to make this perfect, just a little fresh arrangement. Right. I kind of want to put one stick one over here. I'm just kind of looking so that it's balanced. And then we'll add some, the bottoms of our stems and bring them down. You can have them crisscrossing. And that looks pretty full to me. Okay, now let's sketch them in. I'm gonna use the Sharpie. And I'm gonna use a very light hand I'm going to start with my flowers. All right, we said we're going to do a yellow theme. And so I have a great variety of yellows here. Um, so let's try this one. Very pretty. I think I'm going to just mix a little warmer tone to it. And I want to paint in my banner in one at one time so that it's all wet at the same time. At least the center part here so that it dries, it will dry evenly without any brush strokes. And then on the side here, I'm going to get my little darker paint and I'm going to come up here, paint it darker here, rinse out my brush and tap it dry and then I'm going to just use the water, little, there's very little water in my brush, use it to just pull this out. You see how this is a little darker than that? That creates that sense of depth that we want to create. I'll do the same over here. I'm going to paint this in right here. Wash my brush out, tap it dry, and then just pull this paint over here and then I, I'm making my brush more perpendicular to the page so I can use the tip to get that detail work. Okay, so we'll let that dry and then I'm going to go to my um, flowers and I'm going to make, let's see how this looks. I'm just going to put a little bit of orange around the outsides of these flowers. Just because I want to have a little lighter center. So here I'm going to just do the outside of the flowers. Rinse my brush out and get a lighter yellow. And then touch the insides with this yellow just kind of let it mix right inside the flower. So we have a little bit of a two-tone going on here. 
We could have done it the other way around and um, put the lighter first and the darker around the outside. It's fun to play and figure out little strategies. I think I'm going to just put a hmm, put a, another flower right there. to touch some orange into it there okay and I am going to now let's do our green and uh, the screen can be a little brighter and just color see how that goes And I'm just using the tip of the brush so I don't hit the other colors. Now, if, if you want, let it dry. Just let it dry, the colors dry. And you can tell they're dry if they're no, no longer shiny. You can see these are shiny. So um, that means they're wet. But if you want to be careful uh, that their colors aren't going to run into each other, Contaminate each other. Um, just wait till they're they're dry, and that solves the problem. But I'm kind of in a rush here. I feel it in a rush. Okay, I like that. Be good. And I'm just going to use the tip of my brush to um, fill in the, the little flowers. These could be grape hyacinth, or they could be like a miniature delphinium, something like that. And I'm just going to take a touch of purple, see if I can't just add a little, you can barely see it, but I'm, I think it's just going to give a little dimension to some, a couple of these. And I think that's it. I did have this one flower that I added later. Let me go in and just do that. And I think that's it. It's all ready to be sent to a friend or attached to the front of a card. A bigger card. And I've got some here. A few. Let's see which one, which color might look best. Try it on the green. That's not so bad. Let's try it on the blue. That's very pretty too. You can buy these blank note cards at any of the craft stores and they come in a variety of colors and they're they're very pretty. So here's this one and Let's see this one. I'm going to put this one on pink. And won't that be a nice handmade card to give to someone? 